Visitors to Bisbee, about two miles northeast of Old Faithful Geyser, scrambled for safety as a hydrothermal vent erupted from Black Diamond Pool. The plume of smoke from the blast rose 400 to 600 feet into the air, visible for miles, and hurled rocks that shattered nearby sidewalks and littered the landscape with debris. The rocks ejected by the blast consisted of glacial debris, sandstone, and siltstone, all of which are part of the geologic deposits that make up the subsurface. No rhyolite bedrock was found, indicating that the blast was rooted at a very shallow level, perhaps within 100 feet of the surface. Also present in the debris was impermeable silica, that may have lined the hot springs that fed Black Diamond Pool. Silica is dissolved in most of the water that flows into Yellowstone's hot springs and geysers, and as that water nears the surface and cools, the silica precipitates into solids. Silica can coat the channels and, because it is impermeable, can seal the system. In the weeks and months after the eruption, Scientists from several institutions worked together to set up temporary monitoring stations around Black Diamond Pool, including trail cameras, seismometers, acoustic sensors, and electromagnetic instruments. The cameras often recorded changes, for example, new rock being ejected from the pool, and the seismometers and acoustic sensors detected several dozen eruptions from the pool. Eruptions were associated with water waves that knocked over seismic, displacing them from their original locations or partially burying them in mud. At least two small eruptions, which shot water, mud, and small rocks 20 to 30 feet into the air, have been witnessed since the July 23, 2024 eruption. One occurred on November 5, 2024, while scientists were collecting gas samples. Another eruption occurred on January 3, 2025, and was observed by a tour group passing through the area. Since the July 23, 2024 eruption, Biscuit Basin has been closed to the public as Yellowstone National Park assesses the damage and potential for future hazardous events. To aid in the assessment, on May 14, 2025, scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory installed a new webcam at Biscuit Basin. The camera is a temporary camera mounted on a damaged sidewalk, so the image is slightly tilted due to the slope of the sidewalk itself. However, views of Black Diamond Pool are clear, and the camera has pan, tilt, and zoom capabilities that allow the frame to be adjusted if necessary. Since this placement is not impermanent, the camera may fail due to power or telemetry system issues. If this occurs, we will work to get the camera back online as soon as possible. The camera is intended to operate through at least the summer of 2025, and if necessary, can be hardened to withstand the winter months. The bandwidth at the site is currently insufficient to support live streaming, but video is being recorded on site. If static images document an event, such as the emergence of new rocks or wet soil, the video can be downloaded for analysis. If such an event is captured, we will be sure to upload the video clips to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory website. We hope that these new views will be of interest to the public, and we believe they will provide a new perspective on the activity at Black Diamond Pool that will be useful in the ongoing hazard assessment of the area. Many thanks to Yellowstone National Park for their support of this application, which was completed under Research Permit YEL 2025-SI5842.